Forget milking stools and buckets, we're at Dairy Tech 2024, where robots and AI are helping to ensure our shops are stocked with gold top or orange plastic top, striped blue top, silver green. Can you hear me, David? Confused? More of that later. All too often we hear how the sector is being crippled by supermarkets driving down the price they're willing to pay from source. So our challenge is to find out what money the farmers really want for their product. So here we have the Farming Britain milk bottle. We're going to spend the day going around the great and the good at Dairy Tech and asking them to write on here what they think is a fair price for their product. We've enlisted the help of Charlotte Ashley, soon to be robot dairy farmer, to assist with the task. Write it on there and I'll put it in the bottle. Oh, oh yeah, no, secret. While Charlotte heads off looking for victims, we start with the inside story of gut health from a doctor and his cow mannequin. EDF Man, basically a supplier of molasses-based products, and this cow here, his illustration shows exactly how these products work. Feed them well, they'll do well. Let's catch up with Charlotte and the milk bottle of truth. A litre or a pint? A litre, thank you. In my pint bottle for a litre of milk. It's important that it's fair for, yes. for everyone. Well done. Not ridiculous. Well done. And we're going to open them all at the end of the day and look at the difference. Thank you, Thank you very much. Pleasure. <laughs> it isn't long before she finds Gareth, who is interviewing exhibitors, but not with a milk bottle mic. Now there's an idea. microphone, please. I'm at Dairy Tech. This is crazy. Great turnout. Yeah, a lot really of youngsters good. here today, Charlotte. There's a good mm. buzz. I'll be totally honest, I was expecting it to be a little bit darker, a little bit gloomier. Mm. A lot of innovation, a lot of forward thinking things. Yep. So, you know, I'm very positive, to be honest with you. Times Halfway are through. changing though, aren't they? I mean, it's not unusual to hear of people putting robots in anymore. No. Three or four years ago, it was still a, oh, I maybe wouldn't do that. Now it literally is if you're going to go into milking or you're going to even think about putting a new parlour in. Robots are definitely front and centre of the conversation. So I think things are changing. 100%. It's looking for what suits your business, it's looking for what you know you can take from Dairy Tech. But the thing is, the core thing I believe is bringing people together to talk about their problems, you know, talk to the bank manager. Yeah, Barclays. definitely. I've had a chat with Barclays earlier, not that I bank with them, but um, they, they're coming to me next week for a loan because I'm doing so well. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so they, things, things, things are really flying, they're just got you there at the moment. To be clear, what we're after is the price per litre these farmers would accept from a supermarket now, early February 2024. YouTuber Tom Pemberton and his father Andrew know exactly where they would pitch it. So I've gone quite low and quite reasonable, but I, so farmers can make a profit. And that's fair price bulk standard with nothing else on top. I've just been speaking to a lady just around there who made a really interesting app, and that was her near enough her fair price. What was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was basing it on what? Not just a great base. No, no, I know. You know, you know. Fair price should be 45 upwards, depends on constituents yep. and hygiene yep. to encourage um, encourage improvements, modi um, improvements modernisation within the industry and also let them reinvest in one of the most expensive things in the industry, which is the animals themselves. Yes, definitely. I'll agree to with that. Just how much it costs to look after these animals. Yep. You answer one for one answer, typical of me, I can give you chapter and verse and more and extend it. There's so many variables. There is. The minimum price 42p, fair price 45 plus, then you get bonuses. Not deductions, you should get bonuses. Yeah, I agree. Because they can still work with that milk somewhere in this country. You should get bonuses for the liquid milk too, for the standards that it reaches. Yeah, they should. Yeah, they should. All right. so, well done. So I'm going to go fair price for the 44 well said, that man. To give a rough idea of the economics, one dairy farmer told us he's currently losing money being paid 40 pence per litre, as it's costing him 44 pence per litre to produce it. A fair price for him would be 50 pence per litre. Now back to our national obsession with multicolour coded milk bottle tops. And who better to chat about that than specialist milk bottle manufacturer Seaways? Spot the one they didn't make. The tops are all different colours. There's no standard. So with the pinties, you've got your blue and silver, which is usually skimmed. You've got your silver, which is usually whole. And then you've got your red and silver, which is usually semi-skimmed. But then you go on to your plastics, 
it's changed completely. So your blue is your whole milk. <laughs> your green is your semi. Yeah. And then your red is your semi skimmed. But it's not an actual conformity yet you've got to apply to. So you can change whatever colour you want on the lid, but you've just got to have it on the actual bottle as the actual name. Um, that's why they're coming out with the clear bottles, which is also confusing customers as they're used to just looking and thinking, oh yeah, semi skimmed or skimmed or whole. You just gotta read the label. Gotta read the label. Okay. And tell me what's your biggest seller? Because you do bespoke milk bottles, yeah? So yeah, we print the glass bottles. And the biggest seller is this one pipe where we sell six million a year. So there you have it. It's the Wild West when it comes to labelling your milk. After Charlotte stops taking her frustrations out on a large metal spike, she's off on the prowl again. Think what you'd want to get paid. Think about a fair price. Before we reveal all, another hot potato thrown around livestock management is burping and farting. Mutral has a food supplement they say will reduce methane emissions from your herd. And if a farmer parts with some data, the Mutral citrus and garlic additive is free. People really engaged because we actually have an answer that can go now. You know, we're not waiting on any decisions from anybody. You know, all, all we're waiting on is you know, people to come and see us and, and spread the good news. Finally, it's the moment of truth. 41 people eater, okay. Yeah, that's all, that's all, all right, isn't it? That's all right. 40. 40. 59. 59. That's good. Yeah, we really didn't think about this, David. <laughs> working it. I am. So what? 45. Okay. 48. Yeah. Okay. 50. Yeah. 65. I'm thinking 48 was 48, 49. If it wasn't for the love of doing it, why are people still in business? You know, if you didn't love it, and I mean absolutely put everything into it and want to be there so much like we do, you'd just sack it off, wouldn't you? Yeah. Because you're not making money. Any other business, if you were making postcards or, you know, books or anything, if you weren't making money, there would be a point where you go, oh, no, we'll just call it a day. But because we've got this attachment, I don't know, we just... But it's not somehow. putting you off going into dairy, though. No, I think we are going into a niche market. We're going into Jersey milk. You command a higher price for that. We're going to a specialist dairy, um, which will go into like Gold Top Jersey milk. We're trying to do everything well now to limit the cost in the future. I've heard a lot of people talking about robotic milking and how amazing it is. We need to see some of that when it actually comes through, don't we? All right, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like we're in the 45 to 48 pence per litre area as being a fair price for the farmers we spoke to today, where they can reinvest, modernise and take even greater care of their cows. Of course, we'd love to hear from other dairy farmers what you think. Please post in the comments below.